you have both, well, certainly you can release both nerves. With the ulnar nerve, I tell people that, again, there really are two options, the very simple and surgery. On the simple end, the, the ulnar nerve runs behind your elbow, so it tends to be most provoked when your elbow is flexed. That stretches the nerve and puts it on tension or tend to irritate a susceptible ulnar nerve. So positional modifications for an ulnar neuropathy at the elbow really involve keeping your elbow relatively straight, paying attention to that. People will frequently say, I'm reading a book and I have trouble, or I'm holding a newspaper and I have trouble. You've got to hold it a little bit farther away. When you have trouble at night with numbness and tingling in the little finger and the ring finger in particular, trying to find positions to sleep where your elbows are not flexed but rather are extended is the key. And that's not a, it's, it's not as easy to do as it sounds, but having a pillow or a towel in the front of your elbow to try to inhibit you from doing this when you're sleeping. You know, if you have a tendency to, to sleep in a certain way, that's very hard to change. People, you know, we, we develop these habits over decades and they become very hard to change, but that's the general strategy. You want to try to keep your elbows relatively extended. If you can control the symptoms doing that, that's fine. If you cannot control the symptoms doing that, again, there's relatively little short of surgically making more space for the nerve that's going to help. The procedure for the ulnar nerve is analogous to, to that of the carpal tunnel. You have to take the structures that are pressing the nerve off, so you unroof the nerve, and you essentially give it room to breathe. Compression stops, and symptoms that come and go disappear quickly. Uh, if there has been fixed numbness, that again takes a longer time to recover, but very frequently.